you, Mrs. H. Beautiful. Some of that from the garden. And uh, welcome to Sunday. Welcome to the shave and to my home, to my den. <laughs> well, part of it. The working part. I hope uh, you're okay. Had a good week, good shaves. Life is good for you, or best it can be. Um, right, I've picked everything bar the blade, and I've left that to the last minute because if I can go straight to it, it'll. That's the one. Under my little dice, if you bear with me one minute, um, which is number three. So that means this is its fourth use, and it is. Pick two up there, sorry. It's this thing. It's the Gillette Super Stainless Blue Blade. I like to reuse things. Razor of choice. I was looking through uh, my sort of vintage ones, and I'm going to use the, the Gillette Super Speed Blue Tip. This is the twist open. This is a D1, so it's the first quarter of 1958. I think it's 60, 64 years old this year. Wow, look at it. Due for retirement. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to use that, leave it open. Non adjustable. Um, do, they have a red tip I've got. That's meant to be the most aggressive of the colours. I've got the black tip, uh, the silver, just all in one, and the blue. And I think the blue is the mildest. So I'm going to use that today with that blade. Soap. Not used this for a long, long time. I love this scent. Wilkinson Sword Blue Shave Stick. And that's what's left of it. It's a lovely soap. We're going to face, gather, and then lather. Now the stuff I'm using tends to be blue. It wasn't intentional. It was just I picked this and the other. And uh, the brush is no exception. I've had this many years. This is the Omega now this is how sad I am. 10777, that's the model number. The Omega ball brush is a 23 millimeter uh, knot. It's been soaking there in this sort of, this is an old toothbrush holder or something, I think. Um, some people unscrew this. It's very light, it's not heavy, as in not brush heavy. Um, some people undo the, this and keep some shave cream in there and close in and go traveling so they've got a <laughs> handy if you're camping or something maybe very light brush so that's been soaking in there um so we'll start we'll put the blade in first there so that's nicely in there we go lovely there is blade overhang to be aware of there make sure that's level there we go yeah that's nice Okay, um, we'll start to, we'll wet, hang on. We'll rinse the face first. I have, not long, come out of the shower, but. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Poached face. Yeah. This is another one of them shaves. I absolutely love these types of shaves where I can, I take my time, not often I get the time, and pick. Oh, I fancy using that because I love these basic old shaves. Uh, really, because it's where I was introduced into shaving. As I say, my, my dad unconsciously, I should say, just watching him and uh, grandfather and things you see. Uh, Oh, and I might have some um, some nice news actually, because uh, my brother, I was talking to him the other day, or the other week actually, time goes so quick, and he said, um, we've got my Tide, as we call them, a T-A-I-D, is a Welsh name for grandfather. My grandfather, my mother's side's razor, the one he used just before he died, double-edged. Uh, it's in a box somewhere, he said, but I'll have to find it. He doesn't know where it is, so... It's there somewhere. Oh God, I hope they can find it. That would be absolutely stunning because you're my dad's and have my grandfather's. Right. We'll see how this does. Oh. 
when you've been using oh, I love this scent it's just it's a typical old classic cologne um soapy scent if that um, much more backbone than the synthetic if you're used to using, which I use a lot of synthetics. Somebody did ask. You tend to use a lot of synthetics now. Don't you like Badger or Bore? I love them. But I've got so many synthetics. I enjoy them. They're absolutely brilliant brushes, different choices. Um, but I just use these every now and again now. But not because I don't like them. Yeah, this is this is really sort of father, grandfather scented smell in a nice way. Right. We'll heat this uh, Gillette Super Speed. Flare tip blue razor with the Gillette um, Super Stings, isn't it? The uh, blue blade first, no, fourth use, first use, fourth use. Here we go. Quite audible, isn't it? It's quite audible. One thing I noticed, these shave sticks, when I first bought them, they were so inexpensive. I can't remember now, but it's something like three of them for four pounds or something with postage included um and then i checked uh, not long after i bought them and used them i used one of them i think this is the first still the first one i got two there um and the price just shot up so, you know it's, it's funny isn't it how it happens quite often that Unless demand for them goes up, so they think, oh, we'll hike the price up. Very slick. I remember that about it. Uh, especially for this type of soap stick. Gosh, it's warm in here today. Whew. So it's a mild, classed as mild. It's very audible. I don't know if you can hear this. As... Blade feels nice. Wow, there's a lot of whiskers there. <laughs> um, blade feels lovely. I'm doing a slightly different dinner today. Um, one of my work colleagues mentioned a recipe he, um, he, he did from a, an online website or something he follows. And wow, that is good residual slickness. Very good. Um, and it sounded amazing, so I'm going to try it today. But I'm going to tweak it. Anyhow, more about that in a minute. Just put some water. I'm going away because I don't want to flick in the face. I want to gather some more. Because this is a ball brush, it doesn't... It's good, but it doesn't... Uh, some of them like to keep. Just put it on one side and then we'll spread it. Yeah, it likes to keep the soap to itself sometimes. 
but obviously it's good enough. For creating a ladder. So sometimes I watch this back when I'm editing. Not there's a there's a lot to edit in it, but uh, when I'm putting the intro in with the flowers and the text and things like that, and the music, I come right. So sorry to scare you. <laughs> scare myself sometimes. That'll do. Right. Second pass. Really enjoying it. Lovely scent. Be aware of that overhang. So I'd say it is a mild shave, yeah. But I must say, I think the Wilkinson Sword Classic Black plastic is milder. Uh, if you want to compare it to something, but it's not. Uh, I think it sounds, or it may do, it may sound more aggressive than it is. I absolutely love these shaves. And uh, thanks for joining me in these shaves. It just, you know, it doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, I do them twice a week and I've done them for years. And I, um, maybe with the odd occasion where something's gone wrong or, uh, or I'm away or I'm not well or something, but I think that's not happened very often. And I do them regular because I want to do them. I love doing them. And uh, the enjoyment of it, you know, it's... Um, Oh, the slickness is amazing. I don't know if you've tried this. You know, for a shave stick, you wouldn't think um, it's really good. I think it might be slightly better than uh, Palm Olive, and that's a good slick soap for me. It may depend on your water, but uh, or how you lather it. See, it's, uh, it gives it out, but it's... Oh, well, I'll tell you what I do. My grandfather used to do this. He said, just go off the tip, try that. Bit of water and then it may look like you're using a lot of soap when you go back like that, but you're using hardly anything. Just and look at it. Um, I'm sure I was in the middle of saying something nice. Here. Oh yeah, that's um, I do it because I want to do it. I'm not after trying to be some big YouTube star or big um, numbers on what's it called subscribers or views. I'm very lucky with what I've got. Uh, this channel's reached numbers. I could well, I wouldn't have thought. I would have laughed at you if you told me you know <laughs> it's achieved what it has. Um, and thank you for that. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I'm just to say thanks for joining me twice a week. Um, I really appreciate it, and especially if you know if I don't get back to you in the comments, I do read them and enjoy them and look forward to them and realize how lucky I am. Yeah, I've said it before no channel is anything without the viewer. You. No matter how big people think they are, how clever or whatever.
this is just about shaving it's so slick um that's a good I was just thinking then I'm going to check to see if these are still available, these soaps, and how much they are. Be interesting. Thank you. Yeah. So it's a mild razor, a very slick soap, gorgeous scent. And uh, it's working a treat. That blade is nice, you'd never think of, you know, fourth use. Excellent. I'm gonna dampen that. Yeah, so the meal. I'm doing chicken thighs. You're supposed to do a whole chicken, but it's too much just for one for me. I could do it and keep it and use it and, you know, uh, sandwiches and things like that, or with a bit of salad or whatever. But uh, there was a good deal in the shop on chicken thighs. Bone in, skin on. So I'm going to roast them. Slowly and lowly for about an hour. Then bring them out. I'm gonna put the hottest curry paste I could buy, which is madras at, at the, you know, at the moment. Uh, and to that, I'll put it all over the chicken thighs, salt, pepper, and some Carolina Reaper powder, which was kindly sent by a, one of the ch chaps um, who came to the, Wet Shave Meetup in Leeds 2017. Um, the lad that came there, his father, Peter, grew, grows his own chilies, and uh, he made this Reaper powder and sent me a jar. And his lovely wife made the jelly, the Carolina Reaper jelly, and it's gorgeous, it's got a good kick to it, lovely with cheese and stuff like that. Anyway, if you're watching Peter or your son, um, Thank you so much, it was lovely. Wow, slick. So I'm doing that, uh, put the the paste on, salt, pepper, Carolina Reaper powder, add some onion, potatoes, peppers, bell peppers, and um, maybe some hot curry powder as well. Back in the oven, because you, you put some uh, foil on the chicken on the first hour, take it off for the second, marinate, and then put it in paste. So it should have this curry paste will go into the skin. It will still should be crispy and it should make the all the sauce, if you like, into like a curry sauce with the peppers, onion, potatoes. And it'll be a meal. And I'm looking really looking forward to it. Never had it before like that. So I'm looking forward to it. If I remember, I'll let you know how it went. <laughs> Not that you're interested, maybe. Right, three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Should be enough in the brush. Should be enough in the brush. Right. Won't be in work on Monday. I know, I won't either. Why not? We're all off. Oh no. We're all off. Wrong colours, is it? We're all here, yeah, shut down for a week, wouldn't you? Yeah. <sighs> I'm running out of ideas here.
Oh, bit of a joke for you. I've pinched. You know, the price of fuels going up and all that type of stuff. So this chap, he's at pub three and he's put 10 pounds in money worth of petrol or gas in his car. And some chap watching him said, uh, where's he going to go just on 10 pounds worth of petrol? And he said, I'm going to go to pump four because it's so expensive. They're quick, aren't they, these people with the jokes? <laughs> Where's he going to go on £10 worth? He's going to go to t pump four. <laughs> Don't give you a day job. No. Thank you. Oh, he's watching. It's a comfortable razor, very nice. That'll do, I think. Make sure we're... Yeah. Lovely. Cold water rinse. Wow, that is nice. And don't forget your shave of the day, if you don't mind, and your meal, if you have one. And drink, if you... I got some real ales. And, um, oh, I tell you, I got to wash it down. This um, uh, chicken, curried chicken, it's like a meal, really, but um, not a curry as we know it. So it's a curried chicken. And it's um, cloudy lemon cider. Whew. That's lovely, that refreshing drink. They're beautiful. I wish I knew your names. <laughs> right. Homemade tea tree and witch hazel. Just using it up a bit. Seems to last forever, this. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is nice. And then... Another blue one, Astral. I love this cream, good stuff. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Now I know you're thinking, hang on, I'm putting the cream on first because of what I'm going to use. I've said it before, I would do this, usually if I'm wearing an expensive aftershave or I'm due to go out. I'm not saying this is an expensive aftershave or I'm going out, but uh, it's an EDT and it is Versace blue jeans, I like it. Oh, that's gorgeous, wow. And here we go. I'm gonna spray it on. Ready? Here we go, watch your eyes. That'll do. Oh yeah. Whew. Ooh, bit of a burn there. We're not on the hot and spicy. Right? Bit of a burn. Lovely, really nice. Just on the whew. very happy with that. Gorgeous scent. Okay, quickly, I know you've got things to do. What time is it? Are we getting on? Are we? Whew. Gillette, uh, super speed, flare tip, blue, uh, one of the mildest. Um with a Gillette. Super stainless, blue blade, fourth use, superb, mild, very efficient. You could hear it, it you can hear it sing, it sounds, if you could hear that in this, uh, it sounds more aggressive than it is. It's a really nice smooth shave. Um, we've used this Omega 10777, <laughs> that's so sad, blue bore brush, 23 mi millimeter. We've used the Wilkinson Sword Shave Stick, the Blue Soap, excellent slickness, and you know what you'd expect from a stick, excellent. And um, 
this is a bit greedy with the soap so you're gonna if there was a synthetic you'd probably do it on one gathering you know on the face but um that's no problem but it works well uh, as i say lovely classic scent uh, welsh water to rinse thanks paul um, homemade tea tree and witch hazel astral uh, this is the original astral yeah all over moisturizer good stuff and then of course the um, Versace blue jeans really nice so that's it thanks again for the chat for the company look after yourselves if you haven't something to eat and drink today if you're going out whatever stay safe enjoy yourselves have some great shaves thank you Mrs H and then um, I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave again soon comes round thankfully because I love it all the best have a great weekend and bye bye Thank you.